So proponents of Florida's Don't Say Gay law allege that really this is about protecting children and it's an anti-grooming law. And if you're against this, then I guess you support grooming. Now, their logic was that really if kids know that gay people or trans people exist, then that is kind of grooming them into this particular lifestyle. You could teach them to be gay or trans. And therefore, if you stop teachers from acknowledging the existence of gay and trans people, then you kind of prevent grooming. You kind of prevent teaching children how to be gay. Now, it doesn't work that way, but that's their argument. And they claim that people who are opposed to this bigoted law must be pro-grooming. But it turns out all of this talk about grooming was nothing more than projection because Tennessee Republicans are proving that they're actually the ones who want to groom children. So as Brian Teller Cohen reports, Tennessee Republicans are advancing a bill that creates a separate privileged class of marriage for heterosexual couples, acting as a loophole to the Supreme Court's legalization of gay marriage. The bill would also legalize child marriage by eliminating age requirements. It's basically a get-out-of-jail-free card for people who are committing statutory rape, said a lawmaker on the committee the bill passed out of. It would establish a common-law marriage between one man and one woman, including for children. Yeah, don't even know how to respond to this one, but I think that Hassan Piker put it best. The same people who foolishly think watching Disney grooms your child into being gay are openly legalizing child brides. Wonderful. Yeah, they're the ones who want to groom children. They're proving this here. Now, for more details on this particular piece of legislation, a local news affiliate, WKRN, further explains the bill's sponsor, Tom Leatherwood, said the law being considered would add a new marriage option for Tennesseans. So all this bill does is give an alternative form of marriage for those pastors and other individuals who have a conscientious objection to the current pathway to marriage in our law. But missing from the bill are age requirements, opening the door for possible child marriages, something the bill's sponsor acknowledged during a Children and Family Affairs subcommittee. There is not an explicit age limit, Leatherwood said. Now, why is that, Mr. Leatherwood? This is him right here. Uh, Why did you not include this in your bill? I mean, I can't think that this was something you just kind of forgot because if you're really trying to redraw the lines of marriage, if you're trying to create these parameters and say it's between one man and one woman and you remember that, but you somehow forget the age requirement, I don't know, to me that's a little bit sus. Now, the current age where you can legally marry in Tennessee is 17 if you get parental consent. So we don't even know with this particular bill if this were to pass, it passed out of a committee, but if this were to pass, say somebody wanted to marry a 14-year-old, would they even need to get consent? Is that drawn out? This is just sick. I'm sorry, this is sick. This is disgusting. This is quite literally grooming. And I just, I want to know the excuse. So far, we haven't heard the excuse. Is it, oh, we forgot? Or, mm, you know, all marriages are good as long as they're between a man and a woman. Age, not really the issue here. We're just trying to limit between a man and a woman. These people are just gross. They're sick. And again, every single claim that they've made about gay people re um uh, you know uh, igniting this trope this uh idea that gays are pedophiles and we have to protect them from children no the people who we need to protect children from are republicans like tom leatherwood because this is just honestly sick now if you think that this is the only barbaric thing that the gop is trying to do it's not Because in Oklahoma, as Vice News reports, they passed a straight-up ban on abortion, making it a felony punishable by up to 10 years in prison. And their anti-abortion governor will almost certainly sign it into law. Now, even though this is a bill coming from Oklahoma, it doesn't just affect people in Oklahoma because once Texas's six-week abortion ban went into effect, a lot of women in Texas who sought out an abortion went to Oklahoma. But now, when... Or if this governor signs this into law, this is no longer an option for women in Texas. So, I mean, this is what the GOP is trying to do. There's a healthcare crisis in the United States. Most Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. We have a climate apocalypse that we're facing, and this is what they're focused on. Bringing us back to the morality of, I don't know, the Stone Ages, the caveman days. What the fuck is this? This is insane they are insane they're gross and they want to subjugate women to second-class citizen 
status again. That's what they want. And you'd think that there'd be objections from Republican women, but right-wing women are right there cheerleading them on. In fact, Marjorie Taylor Greene just said that she uh, believes that women are actually the weaker sex. This is something that she actually said. What is a woman? Because she said she's not a biologist. I'm going to tell you right now, what is a woman? This is an easy answer. We are a creation of God. We came from Adam's rib. God created us with his hands. We are, we may be the weaker sex, we are the weaker sex, but we are our partner, our husband's wife. Yeah, that's a really shitty definition of a woman, and I think that most reasonable women would object to that. But, I mean, this just goes to show you how fucking insane they are. They are extreme. And if you think that, you know, this is as extreme as they could possibly be, it's not. Just last week, a GOP senator accidentally came out against interracial marriage. Do you think that all of this is a coincidence? I mean, they are so reactionary. You know, remember when everyone was asking, well, you know, when you say you want to make America great again, what era do you want to go back to? I think it's clear now. It's not just that they want to go back to the leave it to beaver days where racism was socially permissible. They want to take us back to the days where human beings were barbarians. I mean, what's next? Stoning people? Uh, South Dakota, I believe, is the state that just legalized executions by firing squads. So what the fuck is next? We're going to bring back beheadings in the public square? What's the limit? And the answer is that there's no limit. The GOP is so unhinged and extreme that they've become a black hole sucking America into it. They are literally ruining this country. And this is what they're focusing on. Culture war issues, but not just a particular wedge issue. They're bringing it straight back to the 1950s, the 1940s. When will it end? It won't. So the only thing that we can do, we being normal people with morals and who are reasonable, is to push back as forcefully as we possibly can. Because they will not stop until they take us back to the dark ages. That's their goal. And um, it's horrifying. It should horrify everyone. When we see Republicans out in the open coming out against interracial marriage, passing laws that effectively legalize child marriage in the United States, that's your signal that something is wrong. If you weren't seeing it before, now is the time to acknowledge that this party is as extreme as a political party can possibly be. You have some of them explicitly calling for a military-style dictatorship in the United States. Mike Flynn, who worked for the White House, came out and endorsed this. So this party is conspiratorial, they're anti-vax, they're truthers about the 2020 election, and socially speaking, I mean, who knows how far they want to take us back. It's truly insane, and normal people should be repulsed when they see this. But they're not going to stop here, trust me. It's going to keep going. And next week, we're going to see some other story about how one of them is actually unironically in favor of, you know, banning interracial marriages again. There's no limit to their insanity and their moral depravity. Trust me. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.